Ooh, I might actually grab these. Hirachis, let's go. These are clean too. Which is almost a $100 profit. It blows my mind. Thanks so much for tuning in today and welcome to the $20 sneaker collection. And this is actually episode 20. Just in case you've been keeping count, I thought it was kind of cool. Episode 20, $20 sneaker collection. Either way, we start off this week with a sneaker collection fund of $134.43. And unfortunately, as you guys probably saw in last week's episode, I went out for the entire week to every thrift store that I know of, almost every thrift store that I know of, and uh, found nothing. We didn't buy anything, which means that our sneaker collection fund stays at $134.43 because we just literally don't have any inventory. Not only that. I know it's been a week since the last episode, but unfortunately in real time, the time of me actually filming this video, it's been like three or four days, which means that there has not been enough time for that pair of Air Jordan 8 playoffs to come in yet. I was kind of hoping that there'd be some sort of miracle and the dude would send it to GOAT and then send it to me in like a day, but he hasn't even shipped it to GOAT yet. And it's been four days. So that's actually the longest amount of time I've ever waited for someone to ship something to GOAT. It's maybe not the longest, but it's close. But first, huge thank you to Soul Premise for supporting the channel. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I love Soul Premise, and not just because they've been long time supporters of the channel, but because they make some of the best sneaker carrying bags out there. For example, this has been my daily go-to bag. This is their black monogram bag. And what's crazy is that even though this looks like a small backpack, I've actually got two full pairs of sneakers in there and a laptop. Not only that, I also use this bag as my camera bag whenever I go to the apothecary office to vlog because I can bring some pairs of sneakers with me, my camera, my tripod, all that sort of good stuff in this tiny little backpack that's super easy to carry around and is also really high quality. Plus, all of Soul Premises bags are TSA approved, which means you can bring them onto the airplane with you rather than having to check them underneath the airplane, which makes traveling so much easier. So if you want to check out Soul Premise for yourself and grab one of their awesome bags, which I absolutely recommend, make sure to click the link in the top of the description below and use my code Seth for 40% off your entire order. Got my lost and founds on today. I really love this shoe. I've worn it so much. It's crazy. We've got some non-Nike Prestos that are just, I guess they're just Prestos. <laughs> Not official Prestos. Got some camo Air Max 90s. Feel weird, like off, and they're very, very warm. So that's a no-go. Okay, so I'm at Plato's right before they open, and there's a line, which doesn't bode well. Kind of concerned. It might be that they're trading in stuff, which I'm assuming is what's happening, but honestly, I'm not sure. So let's hope that we get inside and we're good to go and we're able to grab some sneakers before anybody else does. Now we're headed in. Okay, it looks like we're the first people getting to the back where the shoes are, so hopefully we can find something decent. Let's see what we've got. All right, so no sneakers, but star shoes. We've got a lot of bins though, which is good. I'm excited to check these out. Let's see what we've got. Hirachis, let's go, these are clean too. How much are these going for, let me see. So according to Google, these are the Hirachi TR Mid 2s, which I've never actually heard of, but they're obviously a basketball silhouette, or I guess, I don't know. I can't find any sales on eBay at all, or even the other side of the pair, to be fair. Maybe it's in one of these boxes. There's no price on it either, so I'm not sure exactly if it's worth grabbing or not, but still a cool find, I guess. Kinda bummed. I was kinda hoping I'd find something on this guy, but it's from 2011 too. That's crazy, and it's in great condition. No, I should just leave it. I just don't think it's going for anything. Okay, so right as I was leaving, it looked like there are some bins. Shoes outside, let me see if I can find anything. Fila's, no, I feel like if they're outside, they're probably not too worried about these guys, so. Probably nothing, but just to make sure. Yeah, nothing, that stinks. All right, so nothing in Plato's, on to Goodwill. There's a Goodwill close by. And actually looking in the mirror, I should have worn a hat because my hair is bedhead, but it is what it is. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so we are at the second Goodwill and uh, I'm a little bit more hopeful because there's a lot more stuff on the shelf. And I think right off the bat, we found some Metcons. Mm, what are these? I have no idea what these are, but the laces are shredded. That's crazy. Got some Air Force Ones, pretty good condition for 12 bucks, but they don't really resell because they're so easy to get. Got some LeBrons, $7.99. However, they're worn all the way through the air bubble. So definitely not worth it because you can't fix that. Like that, that's the worst for me. Got some Kid Zoom Freaks, which is kind of cool. You got some, I guess, are these Kyries? I don't know what these are. I'm assuming they're kids Kyries. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. some 
Hoka's here, which are a little bit older, but for 25 bucks, it's a little bit higher than I would like, but this might actually be a good pickup. Let me check these guys out online. Unfortunately, probably not worth it after fees. We do have some Stan Smiths though, in pretty okay condition. A lot of heel drag. Ooh, bad condition, bad condition. <laughs> Eight bucks, not bad, but the heel's completely blown out. Got some Flyknit Nikes. I think these are Nike Freeze in a size eight. The outsole is in pretty rough shape, but the upper's not bad for eight bucks. Let me check these guys out online because I have no idea what these are going for. Oh, a lot of creasing. No, there's not really any sales on these, so I'm leaving. Actually got some Vapor Maxes, some newer ones. I think these are 2020s maybe. They're a little bit worn on the heel, but they're actually in pretty decent condition otherwise. I don't know how much they're going for. They do need to be cleaned though, for sure. There's no price. Ooh, I'll think about these guys. Oh, yeah, got some yeah, women's yeah. dunks right there. For 45, it's a little bit much. Probably don't need those. Okay, so unfortunately nothing at Circle Thrift. Sometimes you find stuff, sometimes you don't. Um, that's usually the case with most thrift stores, now that I'm thinking that. But on foot today, I've got the upcoming Pharrell Human Race NMD S1s. The tan and blue colorway. Adidas actually sent these over. Huge thank you to Adidas for these. Um, I dropped the YouTube short, you know, a couple weeks ago, back when I was filming this video. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really cool shoe. I actually really like it a lot. I don't know when it's dropping, but of course I've also got on foot the brand new upcoming Apothecary socks. And uh, yeah, it's a good fit today. I'm happy with it. Some nice tens for 99. Not bad. So some vapor maxes. How much are these going for? 69. That's not a bad price. 69. <laughs> All star ones for 69. That's not a bad price actually. Ooh, I might actually grab these. I'm not sure they're dope. They're in good condition. I'll think about it. Got some cactus jacks for 199. They're almost brand new too, but these ones really don't move. Ooh, they got the shroud on this one. Look at that. Got some nice 12s. I believe these are the Chinese New Year 12s from two years ago. I'm not sure exactly, but actually pretty decent. For 109 is not a bad price. Bet we already have 12s. This wouldn't have been, it's close, but it wouldn't have been the uh, the shoe for the clock. Nice Air Maxes too right here. I actually dig these a lot. Got some infrareds right here. Not too bad, women's size. It's funny, we just bought eights in the last episode. I think we're going for the playoffs. I think we're doing the playoffs because I feel like the shoe just is gonna look better on the clock. And uh, I mean, these would have worked, but they're just a little bit small. They're size six. I prefer to get sizes that I could sort of wear. I know one of the sizes that we have on the clock is like a size 11, but at least I could put my foot into it. I could not put my foot into this. And that's sort of the reason, the unspoken rule as to why I haven't grabbed any smaller sizes when it comes to the clock. I actually really love this New Balance. These are the 90-60s, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure, but super clean colorway. I think I had the white colorway originally. Got the, uh, the Yeezy Knit Runners in this colorway. I've never actually seen them in this colorway, but for 179, not bad. First things first, inside Buffalo, we got some Reebok pumps. Are these Insta Furies, Insta pumps? I'm not sure. 20 bucks is not bad. Let me actually check these out. Hey, I can imitate almost anything, but no one can imitate the pump. Yeah, I think we'd grab these. Definitely. Definitely cop it. Got some Jordan Dub Zeros for 52. A little expensive, but probably not worth it. Shoot, I don't know. 52 is a lot, but it's a good size, size 10. Decent condition, no box though. But the brand new pairs go for like 100, so I don't know if these are gonna go anywhere close to that. So I'll leave it for now, but maybe come back to that. Here we got some pretty clean Adidas Pro models. For how much? 32, not bad. Probably about what they're going for though, but a clean shoe nonetheless. Excuse me, would I be able to see those dunks behind you, the red and gray shoes? Oh, the ones to the left of those? Yes, those ones. 70 bucks isn't bad. Got some interesting threes over here, women's threes for 40. Probably leave on those, but kind of cool nonetheless. All right, so after weeks of a dry spell, we finally found some stuff and it's pretty decent stuff. And the first thing that we found, as you guys saw, were the Instapump Furies right here for $20. And I checked these guys out on eBay and I think they were going for around like 50 to 100. It was like a really weird and wide range. I have no idea exactly how much they're going for, or how much these will actually get, but for, oh, it was $28. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was more than I thought. Okay, it was $28. Okay, fine. Well, 28 bucks. I still would have grabbed it for 28 bucks. Regardless, pretty cool shoe. I didn't realize there was um some fur on the toe. It's a little weird. Boots with the fur. 
<laughs> but grab these guys. I know you guys hate when I touch the bottom of my shoes, so sorry about that. And then I also grabbed this pair of Nike Dunk Lows. This is the UNLVs um, in a size 10 and a half for 70. Now this is not the best price in the world, but the reason I grabbed these is because I think I can flip these relatively quickly. These do sell for like 110, 120. It's not a huge profit, but I think I can sell these in like a day, which is the hope. So maybe I'll sell these for like 100 bucks and profit like 30, which is not bad. But yeah, pretty decent pickups. Buffalo Exchange came through. Thank goodness I can finally rest easy again for a little bit. And we're back. We've got some amazing sneakers from Buffalo Exchange that I'm really, really excited about. And now that I've done even more research on them, I'm even more excited about them. So why don't we dive into these guys really quick and then get to listing them. So as I'm sure you guys remember, because we literally just grabbed these shoes, the first shoe is the uh, the Reebok Insta Pump Fury. This is actually the Atmos collab, and it's crazy. I went to Atmos right after I grabbed these, and I was showing some of the employees there the, some of the sneakers that I had grabbed, and uh, I didn't even realize this was an Atmos collab until they told me. So shout out to Atmos, really great store in Philadelphia and all over the world as well. But this shoe I grabbed for 28 bucks, like I said, and I think after looking on eBay, I might even be able to get over $100 for this shoe, which is absolutely mind blowing, especially for a pair of Reebok Insta Pump which I didn't even think, you know, were that popular anymore. But there you go. Really awesome sneaker. And then, of course, oops. <laughs> oh, crap. It's stuff like that, man. You don't have to. You can use it. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> and then the second shoe that we grabbed was, of course, this pair of Nike Dunk Lows. This is the UNLV colorway in a size, I believe, 10 and a half. And I grabbed these for 70, which I know is definitely high. Realistically, it's not that high, but because I think I'm going to sell these shoes for like around 110, 120 bucks, you know, the profit's not going to be that crazy. Hopefully like 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. But realistically, let's be honest, maybe like 10 to 20 because I suck at selling shoes online. <laughs> but um, yeah, so a really great pickup. It's in really good condition. Unfortunately, there is no box. There's only a little bit of heel drag and the, uh, the Nike logo is worn off on the inside of the shoe. But other than that, surprise surprisingly good condition and for 70 bucks I wish this was my size because this would have been a personal pickup and I would have kept it all right, so I figured a good way to end off the week was to go to Plato's because consistently over the last two years, Plato's has always been the place that I've had surprise hits and you never know what you're going to find. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a good last stop of the week, but we'll just have to wait and see. So let's find out. Okay, so first things first, we've got some Adidas. Did it actually look like they're in amazing condition. They're definitely worn, but not bad. These NMDs are oh, 50. Oof, that's a lot for NMDs. I'm gonna leave those. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but back in like 2014 when the Roshis were big, like any color that was not the OG Roshi color was like reselling for a lot. Like, I don't know what these were or if they are an older Roshi. I mean, it looks like they are, but I wouldn't have been surprised if these would have gone for like maybe 50, 100 over retail, which is kind of crazy for a $60 pair of shoes. Right, we do have some Air Force Ones. They're actually not in terrible condition for 20 bucks. Size seven and a half. They are very, very creased, but I think that can be worked out. But for 20, it just might not be worth it because I think I could resell these for like 30 and after fees, that just wouldn't be worth it. So oh, there's also like a thing poking me. So there are some bins outside, but I'm not seeing too much. Okay, Swiss. Yeah, Philo. Stuff that probably wouldn't sell in store. So I'm gonna leave that. So unfortunately, no luck at Plato's Closet to end off the week. It is what it is, it's a hit and miss, but the good news is we did end up selling both of the sneakers that we picked up this week. So let's go back to the studio and talk about it. So we are back in the studio after all of our thrifting and we have a current sneaker collection fund of $36.43, which is not great, but we did end up selling both of the sneakers that we had just picked up, which is kind of crazy because they both sold so fast. And actually what's even crazier is how much some of these shoes sold for. I couldn't believe it. Now, the first shoe that we sold, of course, were the Nike Dunk Low UNLVs. I knew that shoe would sell quickly. We just grabbed that shoe from Buffalo Exchange for $70 and I ended up accepting a high offer of $109 on eBay. Now, I don't think I overspent on this pair of shoes because this is a pair of shoes that will sell quickly and you're not gonna find it for less than $70. But I knew going into it that at the price I was buying those shoes, I wouldn't have an insane same profit, but I knew that they would sell quickly and they did. So like I said, I think I originally had them listed for like 140. I accepted an offer of 109. And then after fees and shipping, we were left with $94.83 to add back into the sneaker collection fund, which when you subtract the original purchase price of $70 leaves us with a net profit of $24.83. Again, not a bad net profit, definitely a quick flip and uh, Honestly worth it, I'd do it again. But the second shoe is the one that really blew my mind and that was the Reebok Insta Pump Furies, the Atmos collaboration that we had picked up at Buffalo Exchange for $28. Now, as you guys saw earlier on in the video, I was surprised to learn that this shoe was reselling for around $150. In fact, eBay suggested that we listed for $169, which was crazy to me, but I accepted an offer for $125, which is almost a $100 profit. It blows my mind. 
I did good. So subtracting all of the fees and the shipping, we're left with $108.75 to add back into the sneaker collection fund, which means we had a net profit of $80.75, which I think might be one of the highest net profits that we've had for any shoe in this series, at least this season. I'm actually definitely gonna be doing a TikTok of this whole experience. So if you guys wanna check that out, check out my TikTok and my IG Reels, at Reels at Fowler on both. But after all of those sales, we're left with a new sneaker collection fund of $240.01, which is crazy, and the good news is we'll be able to grab a pair of sneakers that I'm actually really excited to add to the clock. This is a pair of shoes that dropped a couple months back, but for some reason they're doing like a re-release or a late release at a website, and uh, in a couple days I'm gonna try and grab it for retail. So, I'll see you guys then. All right, so it's 9.56 on a Friday morning, um, weeks after the Air Jordan 2 is originally released, and it looks like Snipes is doing a either a second release or a delayed release of the Air Jordan 2s, and uh, they release in two minutes and 56 seconds. Right there, so I'm gonna try and grab them, hopefully for retail, and that would be a perfect shoe for the clock, and it would mean that we'd get them for like basically $200, because in Philly, you actually don't have to pay taxes on essentials like footwear, which is kind of crazy, which is awesome. We may have to pay for shipping, but that's about it. Ah, uh, mind. we are gonna have to pay for shipping. So uh, hopefully we get lucky and grab a shoe for the clock for a great price. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. Okay, that's, ref no, it's refreshing itself. I'm not a robot, plus I hate doing this. It's been so long since I've done an online sneaker release. Well, we're in line. Now we wait. <sighs> I hate this. So uh, it's actually below retail on StockX. So why would I buy it on the other website? Okay, so it actually comes out to 212.64 on StockX after fees and shipping. So I'm actually gonna wait to see if I get through on the other website, on Snipes' website. And if it's cheaper than this, then I'll grab it on Snipes. If it's not cheaper than this, I'll grab it here or I'll check Goat as well, see which one's cheaper and then go with resale. <sighs> so I've been waiting here for a while, still no luck. I think I'm just gonna grab them on Goat because the price is the exact same as StockX and we should get them in soon. So let's do it. All right, so the shipping from GOAT was incredibly fast and we grabbed a pair of shoes that we're gonna add to the clock. You guys already know what it is because you saw me buy it, but um, let's bust it open and add it to the clock. I'm so excited. It's been a minute since we added anything to the clock. I'm also out of breath. I don't know why. So this is a pair of shoes, as you guys saw, I grabbed for basically retail. I think I paid 209, let me double check. I paid $209.50 for a brand new pair of this shoe which is crazy, in my size too, so I might actually keep it after this series, or maybe I'll sell it, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it away, who knows? Check it out. Whew, this is one of my favorite releases of 2022. It's a pretty low key, it's not low key, it's just like a, not really a release that resells for that much, really for anything. In fact, you can get it for under retail in a lot of sizes, but regardless, here it is, the Air Jordan 2, size nine. This is a brand new pair from GOAT, and uh, we're gonna add it to the clock, which is crazy. So this is the OG, or one of the OG colorways of the Air Jordan 2s, the Chicago colorway. Ooh, I love this shoe so much. I love it. Like I mentioned, we got this pair from GOAT. So you got your GOAT stuff there. We've got both shoes. Unfortunately, they're unlaced, which means I'm gonna have to lace these up before I put them on the clock. I guess I don't have to, but I probably will. I might not do it in this video, because I don't wanna waste my time, your time, or my editor's time. Thank you, I actually appreciate that. I guess without further ado, shout out to Riff, by the way, shout out to Editor Riff. Um, without further ado, let's throw this up on the clock at the two o'clock spot. Ooh, that's crazy, I love it. But there we go, the Air Jordan 2 is on the clock. We're still waiting for the Air Jordan 8, unfortunately. I don't know why it's taking so long for it to get here, but we are, so the Air Jordan 8's gonna be there, which means we actually only have three shoes left on the clock. That's, cra that's crazy, here, let me see. I don't have any Air Jordan 8's at the moment. That's not true, I do. Hold on, this guy right here, the Oregon Duck PE Air Jordan 8's. Just to show you guys generally where the Air Jordan 8 will go. There you go, you see it? Yeah, good job. <sighs> the clock. It's coming along really nicely. I'm really happy with it. Obviously, the clock itself is the only part of the, uh, the whole experience that I don't like that much. I'm not too happy with the way it looks, but the sneakers on the clock look great. I need to take this one off. It's really ruining the vibe. I'm out of breath. Hold <laughs> on a second. I, Riff, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I don't know what's happening. But to end off this week's episode, we have a new sneaker collection fund of $30.51, which is not a lot. We're kind of back at zero. Well. $20, which is our zero point for this series, but uh, it means we have to be a lot more careful with our buying. So hopefully going out to some thrift stores, we can find some really nice stuff that we can flip quickly, but that's, you know, that's just the hope. So we'll see what happens. But as always, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>